Hey there folks, Comics Gatekeeper here, and we're doing Preacher 65, part 7 of 7, Alamo. Okay, oh, and uh, that's Genesis, if I'm not mistaken. Either that or it's the little baby from the Teletubbies. Maybe, maybe that was it, maybe Genesis was the little baby from the Teletubbies. Fuck. Anyway, take your shades off. Well, how are we, how on, are we just going to start going at it? Take him the fuck off. Jesse. Your choice, your le your choice partner. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jesse! Smack. Gusta, his name reverberates like the clang of a sword. Evan S. Connell, son of the Morning Star. What the hell? Perfect shot on Custer, all father. Just give the word. Hold your fire, but stay on target. Stay on fucking target, Captain. I want to see this. You know what's weird, Skeeter? I haven't seen a cop car in maybe twenty blocks. Ah, the Grail people. Oh, look at those eyes. God damn, I think I see. Why you wear those things? Is that some kind of side effect for you? Or you've just been jerking off the past hundred years? You're fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, there was a few uh, lines like that, wasn't there? When uh, Tulip is all spaced out on drugs. She tells him at one point to keep keep his glasses on. Yeah, you can't hurt me, you bastard. You can't fucking well hurt me. That fact. That cuff on your forehead, that stings, don't it? Must be really pissing you off. Eyes filling with blood, getting harder to see. I can still smell you, you <laughs> And one in the nose. What's going on? Two good friends are fighting like animals, trading love and honour and respect for hatred, throwing everything cherished upon <laughs> fresh mo cherished moment of their friendship down the toilet. And I'm loving it, Featherstone. They get back downstairs with Hoover. You're supposed to be coordinating the Samson troops. God, you really are a monster, aren't you? Yes, I am. I became one a long time ago. At first, I became one in order to save the world. Now, merely for the sake of vengeance. I mean, look at me. My head looks like a penis. I have one leg, one ear, one eye. My cock has been replaced with a rubber tube. You can't say I don't look the part. So yes, I am the villain, and the monster, and all I want is revenge on Costa. The world will have to look elsewhere for its saviour. Miss Featherstone, and so will you. Oh, you bastard. No, <laughs> he just shoots her. You know your problem. You got strength and speed. But you don't know how to put them together. Of course, that's pretty much the story of your life when you get right down to it. This thing you are, the advantages it gives you. You didn't earn them. Just like there was a liar spell, boy. Oh, she broke his hand. You didn't earn it. You didn't learn it. You never had to, to hell. Why should you learn to fight when you're strong as goddamn ox? You had your whole life handed you to an player. You wonder in and out of folks' lives, uh, any idea of the trouble you make for them. The fellow taught me to fight was the same piece of shit who taught my daddy in front of me, right between the eyes. That'll tend to focus your concentration. Ha! Now he's got him. Now kicking the balls. Right in the fork, as Terry Pratchett would say. <laughs> that hurt? Don't be so fucking stupid, that'd hurt anyone. I can't believe that moron Hoover didn't fill them up. Wait, did she just fire a grenade at a petrol station? Oh, fuck me. Boom. Wow. Oh my god. All units converge on that now. In Jesus' name. Who cares? The Samson teams will deal with it. Make sure you stay on target. Christ in heaven, what happened? Oh, she's just popping them off now. Shoot back at her, damn you. Got above. Who is this woman? I'll show you the fuck with me. <laughs> oh, she's just gonna gun that one down. Fuck. Ain't none of your concern. If I was you. I'd be more worried about the kneecappers hanging off there. Tell me something, are you dead or alive? It's a simple question. Which side of the goddamn grave are you on? You know what it means to be human. Do you understand things like giving your word, sticking by folks, the shit we pulled each other out of? Does that mean anything to you? Or are you just a corpse, corpse stitched together into the shape of a man? A monster that doesn't even know he's dead. Because the way you go through life, I don't think you know yourself. I'll fucking show you. Ah! The sigh. Your friend in New York. The prick turned out to be a serial killer. I was thinking about what you said to me afterwards. The whole speech of yours about how you think you got a good friend. You let them in. You let them right into your heart. That's okay, because you figure you've got them the same. And it turns out they're just another fucker. Did you mean sigh, or are you trying to warn me? Is that really what you were talking about? It was fucking not. That's not me. Why do you say these fucking things? Who are you to judge me? I'm just the son of a bitch that never beat up a woman, Cass. God damn you asshole. Why the fuck did you let me down so badly? Oh 
Father, I'm getting more and more uneasy about this. What's going on? What was that you said you're adjutant about that business? Stay on target. Motherfucker. You twisted evil motherfucker. Oh, he's gonna die too. <laughs> okay. Featherstone's dead. Beach Boy's dead. Fuck. Help me. Listen to me now. My turn to speak. I'm being totally fucking honest. The first time we met on the roadside, when the cops were after you and shoot him, I looked in your eyes because I thought I was looking at a good guy. Why well, you're such a brilliant judge of character too. <laughs> There's a rumour going round nobody's perfect. So I hear. But you know something? I came back to rescue you later. After you both told us to fuck off anyway, because I knew the saint was coming to get you, and I knew you were a good guy. And it turned out to be the first decent thing I'd done in years. As I recall, you fucked up that rescue. <laughs> That's not the point. I fuck up everything. The point is I tried. Can you not see that? I'm not a monster, and I do know right from wrong. And you think knowing you're a bastard is some kind of excuse? Wow, there are so many people who use that excuse. There used to be a film star like that, who'd warn people in advance. Oh yeah, I'm a terrible person. And yeah, I think it was uh, Hugh Grant. He used to say that to all his co-stars. So I think that's just an excuse when you lose it. But yeah, definitely. There are no excuses in life. There are only reasons. Ah, anyway, back to the comic. Maybe there's a spark of hope. But I'm going to need help if I'm going to make anything out of it. Fuck you. Fuck you. No fucking way. I can't believe you. I'd rip your fucking head off. Why are you made of fucking stone or something? Look at me. I'm your friend and I'm asking for help. I need to be forgiven. I need to be drugged out. This awful nightmare I live in. I used to go on about this country giving people a second chance. Well, where's mine? Where's my second chance, Jesse? You had 2,000 chances. You're the one who made your life into a nightmare. You can go fuck yourself. Not so easy to stand by your friends when they're stuck on a road to hell, is it? God damn it, Cassidy. All you've had to do is act like a man. Oh! Was that just an excuse to punch him? Shit, man. Featherstone's dead. Beach Boy's dead. Shit. Don't get up, Jesse. I mean, seriously. Your breastbone's broken. I heard it go. If you stand up, it might stick into your heart. Fine, let's go. Jesus, what the fuck do they make lads like you from? Oh, fuck, would you look at the state of us? What the fuck are you doing? My timings are way off. I wasn't expecting to get such a fucking kicking. I don't deserve to be your friend, Jesse, and I've always been an arsehole. And I'll never be someone you could rely on, that should be painfully obvious. I don't deserve your friendship, and I don't deserve salvation. Yeah, I can't be forgiven for evil things like that. Wait a minute. Fight, they make started at 5am, and now the sun's coming up. Cassidy, you asshole, don't. It was enough that you took my hand. So long as a fella like you will do that for me, then I know I've got some good in me somewhere. I'm not completely damned. Don't do this, you crazy fucker. You gotta get out of the sun. It's a funny thing about America, Jesse. I spent most of the last century seeing it. It's a brilliant place. And if you're smart about it, it'll give you everything. Jesus, it'll wear you out. Cheers, mate. Cassidy, you don't have to do this. I don't want this, I swear to fucking God. Hello there, you big blonde bitch. Cassidy. Kaboom. Now! Oh shit. <laughs> so they took out Jesse. Genesis has escaped. And now she's shot them both up. Oh, she took one as well. Yeah, her star's not to be fucked with. I'll kill you, you whore. I'll kill you. I'll kill every last one of you bitches. You fucking took my cock. Oh, she's been shot again. That was not on the bulletproofing. Ah, too fucking late. I've got you now. He's run out of bullets. Click. She hasn't run out of bullets. Goodbye. Wow, she Kurt Cobain'd him. Fucking hell, man, he's got a sunroof. Shit. <laughs> is he able to speak after losing his brain? And that was how they killed him. Covered in the ashes of his dearest friend. Jesus. Shoot straight, you bastards. <laughs> oh, that's a reference to that Edward Woodward film from before. Wow. Well. Goodbye, Jesse. Anyway, take care folks. Bye. -bye.